Correct. And then you also have a book that's out, just came out in just last month. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, your memoir, Read That Again. And that title is so intriguing. Can you share what the inspiration behind choosing that particular title? Yeah, so um, I I wrote the book. Um, I as I I never try to title my pieces when before I write them, just because that's just how my writing process has worked over the years. And so I knew I didn't want to title this book until I was done with it. And so I was done with it, and I still didn't have a title of it uh, for it. I had no idea what it what I wanted to call it. And so um, I was talking with it um, with my husband about it. I was like, I really don't know what to call this book. What do I do? And he um, he had a friend who was a copywriter, and she and he was like, brainstorm with her. Get on a call, brainstorm with her. That's what they do. They copyright. They you know taglines and titles and all this stuff. And so I I had a brainstorm call with her. I sent her the introduction to my book and some writing samples. And um, she came back with a whole list of really amazing titles. And then this title was in there. Um, read that again. And she was like, you say this a lot in a lot of your blog posts. And um, she's like, and I really love that you say that when it comes to really important things that you want the reader to read again. And I was like, oh, wow, I do. I guess I do. And I went through some of my pieces. I was like, and that's when it hit me. I was like, that's what the title of this book is supposed to be. Because I want people to read that again. I want them to to start this conversation and um, understand that though this book is my narrative, the first half of it is my narrative, the story and how to talk to kids about cancer. A big part of this book is the resources that I share. Mm -hmm. um, it's all the resources that helped me through my cancer diagnosis and the resources that I didn't even realize were out there and all the support groups um, there are support groups specifically for parents who have kids who are going through cancer. There's support groups. There's um, support groups for adolescents and um, young adults, which is technically categorized for anyone diagnosed at the age of 35, which I didn't realize was a thing. And that's uh, that's huge. Um, and those are the resources that are in there. Um, and that was a big part of why I wanted to write the book is share my story, but also be the resource out there that I wanted when I was diagnosed. Yes. Oh, I, I want to get your book. <laughs> um, yes. also, coffee. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. 